general exceptions. As you have studied in this course, the multilateral trading system is based on a number of basic principles which run throughout the WTO agreements. WTO members may, in certain circumstances, deviate from their main WTO obligations and apply measures that may restrict trade, provided that they comply with certain conditions. One of the main provisions that allow members to depart from their WTO obligations is called the General Exceptions, which is contained in Article 20 for Trade in Goods and Article 14 for Trade in Services. The purpose of the general exceptions is to ensure that commitments undertaken by the members under the WTO agreements do not hinder the pursuit of legitimate policy objectives. According to the general exceptions, members may apply trade restrictive measures, for example, necessary to protect human life or health, provided that certain specific conditions are met. Let's see a practical example. As, let's assume that Vanin and Trista are two WTO members. Both countries produce cars. Recently, Vanin adopted a regulation which imposes an import prohibition on cars with fuel efficiency below 12 miles per gallon, considered to produce more emissions and thus more pollution. Thus, only cars with fuel efficiency above 12 miles can be imported into Vanin. All cars produced in Vanin are with fuel efficiency above 12 miles per gallon. Instead, all cars produced in Trista are with fuel efficiency below 12 miles per gallon. As a consequence of Vanin's measure, no car from Trista may be imported into Vanin. Trista considers that Vanin's measure is inconsistent with WTO rules, namely Article 11, Paragraph 1 of the GATT, which is General Prohibition of Quantitative Restrictions. Vanin argues that its measure aims at protecting human health as well as reducing air pollution. Is Vanin allowed under WTO rules to apply such a measure? In principle, yes. Under WTO rules, Vanin has the right to apply trade restrictive measures in order to protect certain policy objectives, but it has to comply with certain conditions. First, the general exceptions set forth in Article 20 of the GATT allow Vanin to apply measures that may restrict trade in goods, among others, if these measures are necessary to protect human animal or plant life or health, which is subparagraph B of Article 20, or relate to the protection of exhaustible natural resources, including the conservation of clean air, if such measures are made effective in conjunction with restrictions on domestic production or consumption. This is in subparagraph G of Article 20 of GATT. Second, the chapeau of Article 20 provides that members cannot apply these measures in a manner which would constitute a means of arbitrary or unjustifiable discrimination between countries where the same conditions prevail or a disguised restriction on international trade. For instance, if the measure is applied in an inflexible or rigid manner, without taking into consideration the particular situation of the exporting member, this could constitute unjustifiable discrimination. If Venin complies with the conditions that I have just highlighted, its measures would be justified under Article 20 of the GATT.